Remember when we said that the so-called white man shares a language with us? Because he shared the same father and mother with us, read. Genesis 25 and 21. And Isaac entreated the Lord for his wife, because she was barren. And the Lord was entreated of him. And Rebekah his wife conceived. And the children struggled together within her. Okay, Rebecca is pregnant with two children inside of her that's struggling together, that's fighting one another, even inside the womb. The so-called black man and the Edomite, which is known today as the so-called white man, has been fighting. We've been bitter enemies before we were born. Right. Read. Come on, read. And the children struggled together within her, and she said, If it be so, why am I thus? If this is a blessing, why am I having so much pains in my belly? This is what Rebecca said to the Most High. Read. And she went to inquire of the Lord, and the Lord said unto her, Two nations how are many, in thy how womb. Many, how many? Two nations. Two nations. Read. Are in thy womb, and two men are people. Two different kinds of people are inside her womb. Read. Shall be separated from thy bowels. And they will be a separate people. But God don't teach separation, do he, brother? Do God teach separation? That 32. Let's see if God teaches separation. Because you've been mistaken. Because you've been indoctrinated by your enemy. You've been indoctrinated to think that God loves everybody. That there's no separation between God. God's not a racist. But you don't read the Bible. If you read the Bible, you would be quiet and say, okay, I did read that in the Bible. That means I don't understand what the heck I read. Let me be quiet and brothers, y'all teach me better understanding. Read. Deuteronomy chapter 32 and verse 8. Where are we? What, what, what is this? What is this? The Holy Bible. What verse? What, ver what verse do you read, brother? Huh? None? You don't believe in God? You believe in God. Okay. Read, read. Deuteronomy chapter 32 and verse 8. When the Most High divided to the nations their inheritance. So all of the nations was given the heritage, read. When he separated the sons of Adam. Is not God telling you how he separated all of the nations and peoples? Because everybody on the planet are sons of Adam. But God made separation between everyone. Because guess what? If he didn't. Why does everybody look different from all the other nations? So when a white man puts out an APB on a black man, does he go to a Chinese man? Listen to what I'm saying, brother. Listen to what I'm saying. If God didn't make a separation between the nations, we would all look alike. The fact that we all don't look alike shows the separation. You know why you don't want to look like us? Because you want to look like a woman, brother. Because the Bible tells a man is supposed to wear a beard on his face. But you want to walk around like a woman. Why don't you want to not walk around like a woman then? Well, then I'll, I'll praise you. Then you ain't in sin. But guess what? How old are you, brother? I'm 45. Okay. So what does that mean? I can't grow up here. That's good. Where I take Yeah. Move on. Oh God, I'm sorry. Oh God, yeah. Deuteronomy 32 and verse 8. For the Most High divided to the nations their inheritance. He separated the sons of Adam. He set the bounds of the people according to the number of the children of Israel. Now give me Isaiah 29 and 13. No. Isaiah 29. You can try. Because listen, I, I believe in God. And where do we get our concept of God from then? Where did you get your concept of God from if you do believe in God? White man. Who said that? You said that? How are you, brother? 45. How come this brother can discern that? That's all heaven. You got your understanding like the rest of We all had that. We all had that problem. So what makes you so vocal? Isaiah chapter 29 and verse 13. Because God said it. Wherefore? He said, what makes us special? Deuteronomy 7 and 6. That's a good question. 
I commend the brother for asking that. What makes us so special? We're going to show him how special he is because we're not separate from him. This is our brother. This is our brother. Read. Deuteronomy 7 and 6. Now you ask the question, now listen, brother. For thou art a holy people unto the Lord thy God. God said this, that you're a holy people, read. The Lord thy God hath chosen thee. And you are a chosen people, read. To be a special people. That's what makes us special. Because God chose us and made us special, read. Unto himself, above all people. If we are above all people, there have to be people that's below us, right? That's right. God said this. These aren't our words, read. That are upon the face of the earth. So we are above all the people on the face of the earth because God said it. That's, That's right. right. Understand that. What are we gonna what, what words are we gonna hold dear? God's words or a brother that's not Nobody's doing anything special. for his people. Nobody special. No, you're not special then, brother, if you want to believe that for Isaiah 29. Isaiah chapter 29 and verse 13. Because you're living up to the mold that the white man set for you. Right. That you ain't nothing but a nigga. Right. That's what the white man taught you. If you want to feel that way, go ahead and feel that. But we here, we are sons of the most high God. That's right. Wherefore the Lord said. For as much as his people draw near me with their mouth. I believe in God like this brother, but he's smoking cigarettes. He's the fountain and temple of God. Right. And with their lips do honor me. And with the big mouth says he loves God. Read. But have removed their heart far from me. Your mind's not on God, brother. Read. And their I'm fear like toward me. And your understanding of God is taught by the precept of man. Who is these men that taught you your concept of God? The young brother said it. The so-called white man. Right, right. Don't you know that you're a chocolate cover white man? When you, That's right. When you act like that. Right. When you walk like that. The white man says you're an epitome of stupidity. You're nothing but a monkey that comes from the dusty parts of Africa with flies on your face. That's what he's taught you. Right. What do we say that's wrong? What do we say that's wrong, brother? He's listening to this. Yes. He's listening to you. Listen to that fool. You, you, you damn devil, you're perverting everything that we just said. Right. The white man told you you're a monkey. What is there to smile about, brother? Ain't you in captivity with us? Huh? Ain't you in captivity with us? Give me that moment. You've been standing out here bullshit with these pretty ass t shirts you talk about. I've been at work. You've been at work. Good for you. We all got jobs. I can't tell. You got a question? How can't you tell? I can't tell. How can't you tell? What, I don't what, got time to what, tell. What is it about us that you think we I don't have a job? Shit. Smiling all the time, brother. Yeah. That's a weak, that's the weakest feminine nature you have, right? It's a rock. Listen to the Bible, what it says about you, smiley man. Chapter 19 and verse 29. A man may be known by his love. It says a man, a smiley man, is going to be known by his love. And one that have understanding. You already told me I ain't a man because I ain't got a man. By your facial face. I ain't got a man. And now meet his help. I ain't a man. And now to tire. In excess of laughter and gait. So what does that make? Laughter and what does that make? Show what he is. You know what it shows you to be? A weak man. That's right. What is there to smile about? In she doesn't think so. You laughing and joking and playing when our children are shining like a baby. Right, right. right. We I'm ain't out here to play. Me. And I'm taking We're care of We're out here to tell you it's wrong for the black man to kill the black man. Right. It's wrong for the black man. Not Brother, is you married? Not just give me that. Give me that where it says, don't ask my daughter. We just got that saying the white man's out Are you married, brother? That's what I'm asking you now. Hell no. Exactly. Read. Deuteronomy, chapter 23, in verse 17. I bet you can afford a bottle of liquor and a pack of cigarettes. Them cost more than your wife every day. You smoke two packs a day, don't you? That's $20. That's the same amount you pay for a wife. Quit the cigarettes and the drinking. Quit the cigarettes and the drinking so you can take care of your wife. Read. There shall be no harm of the daughters of Israel. You know what he's saying, Mr. Pimp? The Bible says there should be no 
whores of the daughters of Israel. But a man don't want to marry the black woman, but you want to make her a whore. You're a damn wicked man. So right. wants to See, we preach the Bible. So the Bible the tells the black man, a you are supposed to make the black woman and the Latino woman your wife. If right. she's okay, good enough boy. to lie down okay, with her, boy. she's good my enough mother, to be your my wife. Mother, my right. mother got Read that again. sprayed by houses, yeah. bit by German shepherds, all that shit. What about Before you, you had the right to do what you're fucking about right now. You don't even know how old I am. You don't know what I've been doing. I can okay. tell. Let's see what the Bible I can says tell. about Because you were shut the fuck up. There shall be no whore of the daughters of Israel. Mr. Mr. My mother paid Mr. Mr. Pimps, man. Nor Dukes. sodomites of the sons of Israel. Nor sodomites of the sons of Israel. Right. Because a man that walks around smiling, effeminate, no beard, right. always joking. Right. The Bible yeah, calls sure him an what, effeminate what, 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 man. Really right. Right. Me you know why? Because the Bible tells us to wear these. These are what you call fringes. These are holy garments. That's, That's right. right. What do you got on? Look but you I believe in God. Hardcore. You're a damn devil. Hardcore. Exactly. Look. Hardcore. Exactly. Knees. Give me our number my knees hurt. My boots hurt. My feet hurt. Number my hands hurt. Look at my hands. Look how black they are. Look how fucking black they are. Speak unto the children Work. of Israel. Because you are the Work. children of Israel, brother. Work. And bid them. And command I pay them. That they make them fringes. God said this. Make fringes. In the borders of their you poverty. You said that here is pretty shit. The generation. But I'm standing here with your boys. That shit. says forever. And, the, and that they put upon the fringe of the borders a ribbon of blue. You give me a break, brother, because I'm going to ask you something. Suckers, lie. Where give is me your show. classroom at, brother? Right. Where are you teaching your people how right. to be upstanding black and Latino men and women? Right. Where is your form at? I'm not black or Latino. You're a damn devil, sir. You're I'm a man. You're, 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 I'm you're, a man. And it shall be unto you for a friend. I'm not the white devil. That you look upon it and remember all the commandments of the Lord and do them. This is for everybody else. If you're asking the question, why do we have these things at the bottom of our garments? Because God said it. And that you seek not after your own heart. Don't seek after your own heart, your own understanding. And your own eyes. Yeah, but you want to talk about the garments that God told us to wear, but you don't have no smart remarks about the white man telling you how to sin by wearing the garments you wear. With a tight beanie hat on. That's cool. I work hard. My hands is black. What, what does that mean? Everybody out here got a job. That's right. That means right. you're slavery. Do you? If a man does what not you? provide for his household, what it's worse do? than an infidel. What do you do? Are you putting bricks on top of bricks? Are you building infrastructure? There's, there's no need for that, brother. Or are you using your what's your What's your profession, bro? I'm a commercial roof. Yeah. A commercial roof. That's good. That's All good. these buildings that you see, bro, I'll put these things on top. That's, that's a good. That's a good thing, bro. You can't do We're nothing inside of these buildings unless I get on top of them first. Yeah, that's good, bro. And when your ass is scared to fucking climb the ladders, right. I'm gonna on top of you. Now I'm climbing ladders, brother. You don't climb shit. You just run your mouth. Here goes my boss. Here goes my boss. Here goes the person. Don't look great. All right. Hebrews chapter 3 and verse 1. This is what your profession should be, brother. Wherefore, holy brethren, partakers of the heavenly calling, consider the apostle and high priest of our profession. Our, right? our profession is what? Christ Jesus. So we out here to teach these laws, statutes, and commandments. This is our job. But so why would we be out here boasting and bragging about the things we got or don't got? It all passes away one day. This world is going to be destroyed. Right. Who cares about, matter, matter of fact, give me that where they will maintain the state of the earth. This is what our people do. They brag and boast about what they do, what they got. But the Bible says something about that type of person. Sirach, chapter 38 and verse 34. Bring it out. But they will maintain the state of the world. Jump up. Jump up, show about the people that's in their craft and all of that. Sirach so chapter 38 and verse 24. The wisdom of a learned man cometh by opportunity of leisure, and he that hath little business shall become wise. Okay, when your your time is not always occupied by what you do, 
gives you the opportunity to sit down and study at your leisure instead of watching a movie 24 hours a day or watching a basketball and a football game those are your times of leisure you need to be studying read how can he get wisdom that holdeth the plow how should you get wisdom if you're always occupied in work read and that and that glorifieth in the go that driveth the ox and is occupied in their labors. Occupied in your work. I'm a commercial roofer. My hands are dirty because I've been at work. Understand that every last one of us out here has a job. Because we're commanded by God to have a job. Right. Period. Read. And whose talk is of bullocks. I'm a commercial roofer. Verse 34. But they will maintain the state of the world. But those type of people are the people that maintain the state of the world. Every building out here that he helped build represents your oppression. Because these are where all the big business deals are made. In all of the downtown areas throughout all of the earth. The metropolitan areas. These are where the lawyers, these are where the lawmakers, the judges, these are where the architects are. They'll maintain the state of this world. We're not here to maintain the state of the world. Give me that in Jeremiah, does that one and ten? Finish it out and then give me Jeremiah one and ten. And, and all their desire is in the work of their craft. Our desire is in the work of this Bible. That's right. We're not here to maintain the state of this world. Right. We're here to do what God commanded us to do. That's right. Read. Jeremiah. Chapter 1 and verse 10. Read off. See, I have set, I have, I have this day set thee over the nations and over the kingdoms. We are going to be established as the top ruling nation. Thus saith the Lord. That's right. To root out. We're to root out. And to pull down. And to pull down. And we're not here to maintain the state of America. That's right. right. And to destroy. We're here to destroy the mentality, the indoctrination that's been put in our people's minds. Right. We're here to destroy that. Read. And to throw down. And to throw down right. the top of American society by these words. To build. But then we are to build. Build who? Build our people. Give you your self-esteem back. Right. Give you your national identity. What's your nationality that you make up the 12 tribes of Israel, you so-called blacks, Latinos, Native Americans, that this Bible was wrote for you, right. you alone, by, by your God. That's, That's right. right. And to plant. And to plant. Right now, seeds is being planted in every one of your heads. It's up to you. Once you leave from our presence to learn about this Bible, Shalom, Israel. I'm Eldon Nathaniel, Israel United in Christ. YouTube likes to shut our channels down, as some of you have noticed, <laughs> ever so often. Subscribing to join IUIC will assure you will always stay connected to our YouTube accounts. We want to do our best to make sure this truth gets up. Please click and join our subscriber YouTube channel called Join IUIC to stay linked to all of our videos. So again, Please make sure you subscribe to this Join IUIC channel to get your latest updates on all our YouTube channels. Shalom.